In Acts chapter 3, verses 1 to 8, we find this interesting story. Peter and John went to the temple one afternoon to take part in the three o'clock prayer service. As they approached the temple, a man lame from birth was being carried in. Each day he was put beside the temple gate, the one called the beautiful gate, so he could beg from the people going into the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for some money. They looked at him intently and Peter said, look at us. The lame man looked at them eagerly, expecting some money. But Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold to give you, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Then Peter took the lame man by the hand and helped him up. And as he did, the man's feet and ankles were instantly healed and strengthened. He jumped up, stood to his feet and began to walk. Then walking, leaping and praising God, he went into the temple with them. What an amazing story. Peter and John, they were just going about their everyday lives when they experienced the power of the Holy Spirit break in in an extraordinary way. The Bible talks in several places about the Holy Spirit giving us supernatural gifts to help us build up fellow believers and to equip us to display God's glory to those who don't know him yet. You can read about these gifts in Romans chapter 12, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and Ephesians chapter 4. There are a wide variety of gifts and all of them are important and so the Holy Spirit gives each of us different gifts. Sometimes we don't understand why God gives us some gifts and not others or why he enables us to use them at certain times and not on other occasions. Like with Peter and John, they'd probably seen this man many times before. I mean, this wasn't their first time going to the temple and the lame man was there every day begging. So what was it about this specific day that meant they were able to heal him? Some of these questions, God might reveal the answers to us, but others, we might have to wait till we meet him face to face to find the answer. There's this tension we experience sometimes when we balance our faith in a God who heals and can do the impossible, but also we have these feelings of confusion and disappointment when God doesn't always act in the way that we'd expect him to. In moments of uncertainty, we've got to cling to that which is certain. God is good. He loves us. He is for us. He is sovereign and in control. Nothing catches him by surprise and nothing is impossible for him. So even when we don't understand, we can trust him. And we can believe that just as he broke into that lame man's life that day and changed it around, he can do the same for us. It might not always happen in the way that we expect, but he can use us to do miraculous things, just like he used Peter and John. And he wants to do it as we go about our everyday ordinary lives and choose to listen to his voice and step out in faith. I wonder, what gifts has he given you and how does he want you to use them?